Well then, um, this is kind of my first review about uh, Bleach 5.24 uh, uh, for the chapter, obviously, and bear with me because uh, English is not my native language, so um, this chapter, it, not, it did not add very much to the main story. Um, the fact that uh, Unawana and uh, Kenpachi did fight uh, long ago in the past, uh, it was already entered in the previous chapter or the other before. Um, I think that in this chapter, I think that uh, three aspects uh, are the more important. The first one is the letter wrote by Unowana to Izane that we see on the, the beginning of the, fir the first panels of the chapter. Um, we don't know what the letter said. Um, my betting is that probably Izane did not know that Unowana was the first Kenpachi. She probably explained that on the letter and also explained that the, the new Captain Commander Shonsui asked her to train Zaraki to achieve um, or to get in touch or in, con or in contact with um, his uh, Zempatu and uh, help him training because his fighting force, even if he's kind of powerful, it's not powerful enough to be an uh, asset in the war against the, the Quincy. So, uh, probably on the latter, um, Unowana explain uh, his background to Izana and probably said that uh, that uh, will be a serious fight and probably or with a great possibility that uh, when or Unowana be dead in the end of the fighting and uh, since Izana is his trusted uh, subordinate and I think the uh, friend uh, she wanted to Izana know the reason why Unowana departed and uh, uh, probably also led, uh, left some instructions how to run the squad, uh, squad for um, in the case of Unowana dies in the process or became incapacitated we don't know the second aspect uh, that is interesting is the eye patch of Kenpachi that he left to Yashiro is kind of um, a situation when uh, it reminds me that uh, he, I think, is trying to say to Yashiro how important she was to him and that he, the eye patch, uh, leaving the eye patch, was a form of leaving his heart with her and to, in the case, eventually, he also dies. Um, to left uh, some kind of amendment or something like that to Yashiro, I think. Um, about the fighting, we see is an interesting fighting. Um, I think in the fight there are two, two important points. When, one is when apparently uh, Unowana uh, uh, trusts his impact to across the rocky neck and pierce him. Uh, I actually think that she did it uh, and that uh, probably Kenpachi died or w or was almost died or was almost dead. Um, because uh, before uh, the, per the, the thrusting of the sword we have a panel where uh, no one face appears and if I recall, or if I remember correctly, she did not have any blood uh, drops on his face. Uh, however, when kind of uh, Kenpachi wake up again and his uh, Zempacto is crossed with uh, Unowana, we see a drop bl blood on the face of Unowana. So I think that she indeed trusted his impact to through, through his neck and due to its the the abilities of the impact of Uno and Minazuki probably she healed him or the 
the, the simple fact of trusting the Zempak to can at the same time heal the one that is pierced by the, the by Minazuki, I don't know, but um, my serious conviction is that uh, she did trust his impact to through his neck and she did, uh, and Kenpachi uh, probably died or was at the brink of death. Because um, I think it's in the, in the last page, um, is she is thinking, you know, and obviously uh, to herself and uh, um, uh, kind of says that uh, uh, the more times uh, Kenpachi got got close to die to die or is almost killed, he becomes stronger. Each time that happens, he grows stronger. So my speculation about this about it is that uh, Zaraki is kind of like Ichigo. Uh, he grows stronger and stronger and stronger at, after fight, 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 especially fighting to the death or fighting almost to the death and so on um, well in that issue the scene also the second point is the scene mm, I don't know what the scene of Noana could be mm, my guessing is that because of that fighting they have in the past and since uh, Zaraki admired you know, when uh, pr probably she kind of felt responsible for giving birth or creating uh, Zaraki in the sense uh, that he was a vicious killer, um, like we have seen early in the manga. Um, when he after it, the fight with Ichi, I think there are one chapter or some panels about his past when. Uh, he found the Ashiro and named her and so on um, and uh, something uh, is explained that he came from the worst parts of Rokonga where killers, murderers, etc, uh, etc et are a daily occurrence so um, my guessing is that she kind of felt responsible because Zaraki tries, he admires her and he, he recognizes that in this chapter and she was kind of an inspiration for him to become stronger and uh, in the end made him to made him come to the Serete and kill the previous campaign and take his place uh, so um, I think the scene that Unoarn uh, is speaking could be related uh, with that, but it it uh, also in a more weird idea or theory it can also be that uh, they have some kind of familiar relation that will be strange because that will imply that Zaraki is pretty old or almost older as Noena and uh, Yamamoto and. I honestly don't think because uh, remember about the turn back the pendulum mm, I remember I don't know if it's Kiraku or Ukitake that say to each other or to other captain I don't remember that from the first generation uh, from the founding Gota is searching only Yamamoto and Unoena remain so um, uh, I don't think that Zaraki is uh, that old. Probably is uh, at the same age uh, that Kyoraku and Ukitake have. We don't know. That's the question. The Zaraki Pass is a uh, very big and uh, no. um In any case, um, I don't know if this is good or not. Uh, this is my fir my first try to to make a, uh, a review about uh, which ca chapter. Um, hope that you enjoy it. Um, these are my personal opinions. Uh, I think that the next chapter will be the climax, the climax of the fighting um, between uh, Zara.
hierarchy and you know, and maybe uh, or um, perhaps Google will go again to the um, yeah. royal guard palace of Limaya and show us what uh, happened to Ichigo and Renji fighting the Azawushi or something like th along that line. Uh, but I'm hoping that um, Kubo keeps uh, developing, developing the, the fighting uh, between Zaraki and Unoan and also in the process explain a little more about their pasts and uh, why um, Unoan feels uh, seriously guilty because of Zaraki, but why? Uh, that's the, the big question. In any case, uh, this is my small review about the chapter and my opinions also um, hope you enjoy next time I will try to speak a lot better and uh, well stay fine